Tance Chamberlain here, and in this activity video, we're going to do some simple animation that will help us explore some of the components that we talked about in the vocabulary video. The components are listed here, light, sound, space, time, shot, clip, scene, sequence, movie, narrative, lighting, cinematography, interactivity. Um, we talked about how all of those different components can come together to help tell a story. Now we just have 10 short minutes, so we're going to um, go through and try to create just a little, a little scene of action. So we'll use scene, we'll be using some clips. You could use a shot instead of a clip where you, uh, you take an actual picture. We're going to use some clip art today. Um, we're we're going to be able to play it back like a very short little movie. Um, and there will be some interactivity based on how your audience views the project. So, uh, this project is in Google Drive. You need to have a Google Drive to, uh, to be able to try this with me. Um, or maybe use a parent's Google Drive account. But let's go ahead, open up Google Chrome. And in your Google Drive account, go ahead and go over to New. And for this activity, we're just going to be using Google Slides. It's kind of like a presentation software, but we're going to use it to work with some interactive animation. So let's go ahead and open this up. And maybe I will just title it, um, I don't know, maybe animation. Now it defaults to the first slide with a white background and some text boxes. We're going to go over to layout and I want us to go to where it says blank because we just kind of want a blank canvas. You could use any theme that you want, have some sort of cool background. Um, this will work with all of those as well. But to show you the basics, let's just use a basic, um, a basic layout. So uh, let's, get, let's go ahead and leave our themes. Now I need a couple characters for this little scene. So I'm going to go to insert because we are going to insert some clip art into this project. And I'm just gonna search the web. I plan for this video uh, some simple searches. I'm gonna search ninja because ninjas are awesome. And I like this guy that popped up. So I'm gonna drag him over onto my first slide here. All right, and then I also want to have, so the ninja is my, my hero in this little story, and I want that ninja to defeat a monster. Isn't quite realistic, but I like it. So let's bring that monster over. And because I want to see some movement, I'm going to make these characters smaller because I want to see them travel. All right, so I might leave the monster just a little bigger so he seems a little scarier. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to be moving this ninja, and I'll show you how to do it. In Google Slides, what we need to do is we need to duplicate this slide, and every single slide that we have, we need to adjust the movement by a just a little tiny bit so that when we play all of them back it appears like these characters are moving. So I'm going to click this slide, go up to edit, and I want to duplicate. That means you're making a copy. I'm going to be using command D. It's a lot faster if you use this shortcut. So let me show you what that looks like. I have the slide clicked, command D. I now have a second copy. But for this copy I'm going to select my ninja and I want him to get closer to the monster. So I'm going to press my arrow to the right three times. One, two, three. And then I simply do this again. Click my ninja. One, two, three. Duplicate that slide. Click my ninja. One, two, three. And I think, oops, two, three. And then I think I'm gonna have him start to do a little flip. I think that would be awesome, something that a ninja might do. So let's still advance him forward, one, two, three. But do you see this little circle up here? This allows you to rotate the image any way that you want to. Um, what I like to do though, I like to hold down the shift button because then it kind of locks it. 
I'm going to go two clicks to the left and duplicate. One, two, three. Two clicks to that left. Boom. Duplicate. One, two, three. And two. And let's just keep it going. It is a little time consuming, but when you think about what we're doing, we're kind of building our own little cartoon here. It's pretty awesome. One, two. Let's see if I can get them all the way around. See if I spaced it out okay. Two, three. Maybe not. One, two. Might have to speed up. I'm going to go two, three, like he's gaining speed. I have to make sure I get the leg there. So I'm going to change it a little bit. Two, three. One, two, three. So his flip is gaining in speed. But you guys get the picture. One, two, three. One, two, three. getting closer and one thing I'm gonna do I, I'm gonna be interacting with this picture so I'm gonna right click and just make sure that I have the ninja in front because I don't want to lose his leg behind the monster one two three two. I think I'll just do two And I'll get him a little closer. One, two, three. And now notice he's hit the monster, so this monster has to react. So I'm going to go. And I want that monster to fly away nice and quick. And let's just finish this rotation here. And then let's let this monster go nice and fast. And for yours, you may want to have a little more detail than I'm giving, but for the sake of time, I just want to show you what's possible. It's pretty awesome stuff. And let's get them all the way off. Maybe just a little bit left. Okay, so that was 23 slides, and we can kind of scroll up to the beginning. And then I want you to press Present. And then we've got our little scene here. We've got our hero, we've got our villain. And all you do, you press the right arrow to advance to the next slide. So you can go as slow as you want. Kia! Oh, I love it. Or what's fun is that you can actually hold that arrow down and it's like a little movie. Now, I want you to think of the possibilities here. We've got you could have a message with words and just add another letter each slide. You could add objects, so maybe one object becomes, uh, becomes others and you're using it to create a pattern or some repetition. But uh, anyway, here's some, some components used in a really easy, creative way. And you're able to tell a, a little story using a scene and a bunch of little clips all put together, interact with it, and make a little movie. Hope you enjoyed, and I can't wait to see what you've worked on. Stay creative.